Welcome back to another video. In the previous video, I just passed through the uh, depression moment. We all go through states of depression, feeling useless, feeling, yeah, useless. Um, but that is shadow work that we have to heal. And I don't know, I just I wasn't happy with the video that I made. It had to be said regardless, but it's one of those moments where you just, you feel like crap. We've all been there. We feel useless and it's not a good feeling. And yeah, my life is pretty boring, bland as hell. The, the good side is knowing that there was no drama. Pardonly, and there is no hardly any toxic people because I blocked them all. And a guy who I banned in my main Discord server walks back in to my sub Discord server. I did not cuts him before he left so what what do i mean okay going on facebook rules so you create a group you are the admin of said group people join said group but if this person leaves before you click ban you can not click ban. Same rules apply to Discord. If the person leaves before you click on ban, you can not do so. So this guy comes back into my server. Don't know why he. I already banned him and blocked him. When one day he just ups and leaves without a word. Then he comes back, tells me what happened, thinks everything is dandy, and I'm like, you're fucking fake. You should have told me before you left. You left all my groups. You deleted my friend. No, I think he still had his friend request. He left my Discord groups without a word. I believe he still was on my friend list. I could be wrong. So he could have deleted me, then added me back, or tried to. So anyways, the point is, he left without a word, only to come back months later to tell me what was up and I'm like you're fucking fake and he was fake to begin with he wasn't really talking he kept vanishing not really being there for me etc and I'm like that's the last straw so he left the server and then like came back for like a day before I found him and banned him in my server, then promptly blocked him on my normal account. But before I could do this on my sub Discord, he already left that server. So months go by, and then all of a sudden, oh, he reels his ugly head again and joins my gaming Discord server. But, as usual, 
I did not have the chance to ban this person before he left. I was not online, so I did not see the notification that May 6, uh, not May 6. Uh, I have the setting on if anyone joins the Discord server, a, notif a message will appear with the username. I turn that on. It could be me seek spot. I could be wrong. I, I don't know. I don't have the Discord up, so I can't tell you to be exact. But the point is, you're going to be fake with me. I will block you, and if you happen to be in my server, and before you leave, I will kick you. I will hammer that ban on your butt and go on my merry way. Like, I don't do fake. You were fake to begin with and then you just up and leave without a word until you come back months later and then think everything is okay. No, that that is not okay. I don't kill whatever reason it was. But you should have told me this beforehand. Okay, for instance, if your power goes out, I will be more understanding. If you lose internet access, I will be more understanding. However, if you still have power, you still have a means to match as me, and you don't, we will have issues. And that's kind of... The, yeah, I mean, it's it's not good. So that's kind of what was on my mind and just you feeling like crap because uh, another fake shows back up and I'm dealing with with a lack of communication from people and having a bland life, not stale life, uh, boring, stale. Yeah, it, it cabin fever, which is a thing. But... Yeah, I mean, we have our our moments of depression. We work through them. And I know I'm technically not alone. Like, I know I have my angels, though. But at times, you need a person to talk to who will understand you, who can maybe relate. That would help. A person regardless. Talking at the universe sometimes does not cut it. And that's kind of what has been on my mind. Talking to the universe at times does not cut it. You need an actual person. Therefore, you will do anything to get that communication across. I thought I made it very clear about you can send me your questions, your conversations, comments, anything via a private message, be it through Instagram or through my website, which will require an email. Everyone has an email. If you don't, I have honestly no clue why you don't have an email. Is that even is that even possible to not have an email in this day and age? Good question. Uh probably not because everything requires an email nowadays. But if you're one of those people, well, we will never get to communicate. Uh yeah. And maybe I need to write on my OBS overlay. Send me your questions, uh, comments, and messages through my website or Instagram. Because YouTube just doesn't offer the private messages anymore. They completely took that out. It used to be only for phones. I found, uh, and then they just completely abandoned that uh, messenger doesn't really exist now since you have discord or skype but i don't use skype i moved to discord 
Um, hmm. Oh, they say my energy is kind of returning, but it's still ugh. I don't know. Uh, this uh, video will be posted on the same day because a day after kind of... No, I'm going to do it on the same day. But like an hour later or whatever. Um, so, yeah, with, with my communication, it's just, oh, I'm going to do with a person for like a day and then I will never see them again or it's going to be three days or a week, if that, if I'm lucky, before the conversation dries up. And if it does dry up, chances are we will not start a new conversation. Which has happened to me before conversation was done. Did we start a new one? No. And then I kind of felt... No, not kind of. Uh, I did not vibe with this person. Therefore, it makes sense why I never spoke to them again. But for the most part, they only give me like a one sentence or one word reply. Or it's the usual want to date me, which has not happened in quite a long time. Um, since you can't message me outside of Instagram. <laughs> because YouTube doesn't offer it anymore, so yeah. Maybe I should recreate Facebook. Oh, wait. No one uses Facebook anymore. They all left. Nope. That That's what I kept running into when I was wanting communication. Oh, sorry. I don't use Facebook, but like once a year or if that. Or, oh, I'm on Facebook. But I'll never message you because I don't have internet access. And if I do, I don't write you. And I expect the conversation to carry on when I'm not even there. And I'm like, okay, you're cray cray. You're crazy. Like, what? So I thought he was real that I vibed with him. Turns out, nope, he was just another fake in disguise. Only killed more about his closer friends than me, who he said that I was like his new BFF, and he, no, he was fake with me. Fake then, fake now. Found another person who I really didn't vibe with, and he kept wanting me to, I'm gonna say, do illegal things online, like, oh, let me... Log into your account so I can run your games. I'm like, I'm not. Do not give me access to your account if I'm not in the same room. Thank you very much. And then he talked about how he played Warcraft without uh, paying for it. Wanted me to actually didn't really want me to join that but he kept saying why don't I do that I'm like it goes against terms of service sorry I'm not doing that uh, he also says some other odd things to me but really it's just the the illegal the stuff that he wanted me to do oh let me show your account like no I'm not I'm not into that yeah, I didn't really vibe with him, and and the weird thing is, I I talked to him before, on this one account. I deleted that Facebook account, created an, a new Facebook account, created a an art page, so it's not linked to my, uh, public figure page, meaning personal account. This is a business type account thing, 